this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is the final Inktober 2018 video. Woo! <laughs> and it was it was actually quite a hard art challenge. It finished two days ago. And so this video covers days 27 to 31, which is the final five days, and I did five um anime characters. I drew five little anime characters. And I turned Lil Sophie into five video game characters. So I'll have a look at those images in a minute. But I'm going to talk about some other things as well. Because it was a really hard challenge. But it was also a lot of fun. So it was a bit conflicted. I ended it a bit conflicted. Where I was sort of... I was a bit like relieved that it was all over. But I know I'm also going to miss it. Um, so some of the things I'll talk about on this video is how it's hard to find reference photos when you've got too broad of a subject. Talk about how rest is important, how getting started can be hard. I'll talk about how a 0.5 ink pen creates a completely different feel to the drawing. And I'm also going to talk about sacrifice and some of the things that you have to sacrifice when you're doing an art challenge. Um, so if we start with my sketchbook this one here is actually from last week. I forgot to put it on the video. Um, and this is the video game character Tifa from Final Fantasy VII. And she is such a cool character. I was a bit annoyed that I forgot to put it on the video. But this is also one of my favourite... I think this might be one of my favourite um, drawings from Inktober. I just... I really enjoyed this one. And I think it's always good when you're drawing characters that you love because I think somehow that comes through in the drawing and um, I'd really like to redraw this on the computer like draw her digitally but with a bit of colour put a little bit of red in here and there I think that'd be quite fun um, and also somebody on Instagram said they would like to see me draw Lil Sophie as Tifa so I'm going to do that as well I think that would be quite fun as well. But this week was all about video game characters and anime characters. So the first one, which was day 27, is the video game character Parappa. Parappa the Rapper. And I'll put an image on the screen side by side. But this was Lil Sophie. So I turned Lil Sophie into Parappa the Rapper. And Parappa the Rapper is one of my all-time favourite characters. And when I first did this drawing, I actually didn't have her hair. She didn't have any hair, so all she had was her little ears. Um, but then, I don't know, it just, to me it felt like something was missing, so I put a little bit of hair in. And I think, um, I've said before, I think it's quite important to get the balance between the, dark, the light and dark. So I think the hair does that, but this is the ink sketch because what I, I, I carried on doing that thing where I um, sketched it with just an ink and no pencils and I feel like that one's better than that one that one's got way more of like the, the action in it um, so I prefer that one um, yeah but uh, that was alright it wasn't my favourite one but I I do like Parappa I'd like to just draw Parappa as Parappa and not Lil Sophie, but the next one for day 27 was Maromi from the anime Paranoia Agent. Love this dude. <laughs> and that anime is one of my favourites. And this guy was just so cool. He's like a little character, like a little sidekick for the main character. Um, and I'd, I'd like to get a little plushie of him. He's really cool. And um, because... What I'll talk about later is the sacrifice thing and how I was feeling quite, um, like I was a little bit relieved the ink table was over. That's why I chose to do anime characters because they're basic shapes. I thought it might be a bit easier and it was, but that's why I did like anime characters. The next one for day 27, I'll put an image on the screen, is I turned Lil Sophie, um, she was cosplaying Chi, um, she was cosplaying Chung Li from Street Fighter and I really enjoyed this one. I think the pose is quite good. 
like the feel of the pose. Her legs too thin down here, and I need to sort out her, her hands. Again, I'm still quite inconsistent with Lil Sophie, but I did enjoy doing that one. And with the hair, I've I started leaving more um, white bits like up here. Instead of making it all black, I thought that made it look a bit better. Um, and what I like is, I like how the hair is realistic, or more realistic, but the other bit's like cartoony. That's quite fun. So that's Chung Li. Then the next one, that's why I got Cupe here. Um, little Cupe. Again, another character that I love from another of my favourite animes, Madoka Magica. And I love this one as well. I love the character. He's fun. Again, all these characters that I'm drawing, I, I really want to do them on the computer. But I want to be able to draw them. Because this is me sort of drawing them from the reference as it is. I would like to start being able to draw this character as my in my own sort of style. But that seems a bit too hard at the minute, so I... I'm going to practice that because I, I really want to draw some of these characters in my own style. Um, the next one, I'll put an image on the screen. It was Lil Sophie cosplaying Samus from Metroid Prime. And again, I think I like the pose of this one. It's It's got sort of like a bit of action to it. Um, and I like the way her hair flows that way. But... I'm str I struggled. I always struggled throughout Inktober to work out how to like do shading, so that was just scribbly really. Um, so I, that's something I need to look into in the future: is how to do black and white but have sort of like a mid tone on inks. I'm not quite sure, but this one was more about the pose really. I was just trying to capture the pose. Um, the next one, which was day 29, oh, that, um, that was 20, that was 28, oh, this was 29. So the other one for day 29 was Happy from the anime Fairy Tale. I messed up his eye. <laughs> I went a bit weird with his eye, and that's the thing with inks, you can't fix it. But I thought he was quite fun. He's a fun little character. And this is where it comes into the using 0.5 pen. Because if you look at, I did it here as well. If you look at these characters, which have got the 0.1, with really thin lines. When you do the thicker ones, it looks completely different. And I feel like that worked a lot better with these sort of characters, with the big shapes. But it just it just um, created like a different feel. To the drawing, and I only did that because my 0 0.1 was running out of ink. Um, but I ended up like enjoying that. So that's another example of how, like, sometimes things out of your control force you to do things, and then you realise that it's actually quite a good thing. So that was quite good. <laughs> Day 30. I'll put another um, image on the screen. And this one is Lil Sophie cosplaying Princess Peach from Super Mario. Super Mario. And again, I think with Lil Sophie it's always more about the pose. I'm trying to capture the pose. And I think I sort of got it. Um, I, like, I kind of like that. I like the hair. I always like the hair. I always say that. I, I think for me... Drawing hair is the most fun thing in the world, and I could just draw hair forever. But um, I like capturing the pose as well. That's my favourite things. I quite enjoyed that one. And this is Totoro <laughs> from the anime My Neighbor Totoro. I just love his cheesy face. <laughs> Imagine seeing that walking down the street here. Dun, 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 dun. Be funny. I think he's cool. He's a cool little character. And again, he's like 
big basic shapes. So th these anime characters were a lot of fun to do because it was quite relaxing. And I'd like to do more of these. As I say, I want to draw them but in my own style. And then the last day, which was day 31, this is Lil Sophie cosplaying Morrigan from Dragon Age. And this is the first time where I took a reference image and um, didn't copy the pose completely. I sort of turned it into my own pose. And that's something I've not really done before because I've always been a bit scared to go off of like my own thoughts. I, I guess I, I play it safe a lot trying to copy what I see. But I need to start pushing myself to create my own things. Um, so that's what I did here. And I kind of like it. I I think the hair was good here because it, it makes the light um, like pop. But I wanted to add some lines to that to make it look more like fire. But I was afraid that if I did it, I wouldn't it wouldn't look nice. So I, instead I didn't do it, which that's the fear thing winning, I guess. <laughs> I enjoyed this one and again scribbles everywhere. I think the scribbles kind of work. From a distance it looks okay I think. But I really enjoyed that and I love the character Morgan. She's one of my favourites. And I did, I did these because it was Halloween that day. So I was trying to get like Halloween themed. And this is the final one. It's Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service. And again just a funny character, really cool character, and he's the psychic of Kiki the Witch, so that was kind of like Halloween themed, and I thought it was quite fun to leave the pencils in the background, I thought it added quite a nice little effect, but again he's a nice fun little character, and that's basically it, so I can't believe like all these images were done in 31 days. It's quite amazing. And if you look at the first one I did, like look how scribbly the lines are. And then when you compare that to the last um, realistic like drawing one I did, it's quite a big improvement just in 31 days. So it's quite amazing really. It was quite fun. I should have redrawn her. I wanted to, but I didn't. <laughs> but, um, so that's it really. That's Inktober 2018. I'll just go through the little quick ink sketches. This one was Chung Lee. Or oh, Sophie Chung Lee. No, was it? Yeah, it was. That was because I had loads of different reference images, so I was trying to find out which one to use. So that was Chung Lee. That's another Chung Lee. That's the one I went with. This is Princess Peach. And that's Samus. That was Princess Peach again. That's cool. And that was Morrigan. I think I did another one of her, yeah. See, I was I was debating whether to put a hood up or not. But I decided I think I should have done that. I think that maybe looks better actually than that one. I think it would have looked better like that, but it doesn't matter, I don't know, that's the one I'd, see that one, that one to me looks better than the final one, I think I should have made her hair not cover the fire, because it probably looks better, that one looks a bit more like menacing, hmm, but it's really fun actually doing these quick sketches with just the ink, um, I'm very, I'm glad I did that. And I'm going to try and do some more of those. I'm going to, because I do a lot of gesture drawings uh, using quickposes.com, which is a website that flashes images up and you quickly capture 30 second gestures. I think this chisel tipped fine liner would be really good for doing gesture drawings. But I've always done them with pencils, really, or fine liners, um, super thin fine liners. But I'm going to try that. It's a really good pen for getting quick gestures. Of and like scribbles and that. So that's basically Inktober 2018. Some of the things is, um, I noticed it's really hard to find reference photos 
when you got too bored of a subject. Because, like, I was trying to find... I started out trying to find anime characters to draw. So I just typed in, like, anime characters. And I just didn't know what... There was so much I didn't know what to do. So in the end I put in... Um, I think I put in anime sidekicks. And that's how I, like, got down to these cute ones. Because I, I put cute anime sidekicks or something. And it just it made it a lot easier um, to find the reference images. So that was the first thing. Then rest is important. That's definitely um, something I've noticed is because I was sacrificing so many things for Inktober. I like, sacrificed sleep and meditation and stuff. Things that I shouldn't really have sacrificed. And it just, by the end of it, by the end of uh, Inktober, it it kind of, um, I just, I needed a rest. Like for the last few days, I just, I kept thinking, I really just want to do nothing. <laughs> I don't even want to do drawings, I just want to rest. But the funny thing is, once I started drawing, it was fine. It was like easy and fun. It was just getting started, that was the hard bit. Um, but I think my favourite thing of Inktober was these animals. I really enjoyed drawing these animals. It's because it's like a balance between um, detail and also being free because you, you're not, you don't have to follow it exactly. I think animals are the best thing to draw, or one of the best things. Um, oh, and the other thing is, um, when whenever I'm doing an art challenge, it always looks like a bomb's gone up in my room because because you can't, you're like sacrificing things. One of the things I sacrifice is cleaning. <laughs> so I just end up with, like, if you look over here, I've just got, like, a massive pile of paper, which I need to sort out. And it's all, like, scribbles of drawings and stuff. And the room, if I go over there, you can see, like, it's just a mess. Everywhere is a mess. So I'm going to be tidying up for today, once I've done this video. And putting my little feet up and the resting <laughs> and that's pretty much it so I hope you enjoyed these videos they were more like little I guess like little diary entries really and that's something I'm going to be doing moving forward is I'm going to start doing little well I'm going to next week I'm going to start doing videos about lucid dreaming and they're going to be little diary entry videos that I just um, talk about lucid dreaming and stuff and I'm also going to try and start doing that with drawings and other things as well, like inspirational artists. So that's what's going to be coming next week. <laughs> and it is goodbye from me and Coupe. I hope you enjoyed it. See you later. <laughs>